What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. So today I have some silver rounds and we have some liver of sulfur gel. And you guessed it, we're going to do some toning. So I have these two one ounce pieces of eight pirate rounds from Silver Shield Golden State Mint. I love these rounds. They have such a cool design. Uh, they pay homage to the old pieces of eight, uh, eight reals, pillar dollars. And I love these rounds. Very cool design, but I think they might look even cooler with some unique and colorful toning. So we're going to take the liver of sulfur gel, mix it with some hot water, and do a little toning on these one ounce silver rounds. So let's do it. Stay tuned. All right, so we have some hot water here, and we have the liver of sulfur gel. We're just gonna put a little bit in there. See if I can, there we go. We don't want too much. That's probably good enough. Let's see, I have a little stick here to stir it around. Get that all dissolved real good. Kind of turns into this yellow solution. And it does kind of stink because it is sulfur based. So we have our one ounce Golden State Mint Silver Shield pieces of eight pirate round. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that right in there. And we should be seeing some instant changes going on. As you can see, that is toning up very quickly. I'm going to give it a little flip. Wow, we're getting some really crazy looking colors. It's starting to turn blue and green and purple. Ooh, the water's really hot. All right, I'm gonna pause this and take the coin out. All right, so here is round one. It came out pretty cool. A little bit more golden than I was hoping for. I didn't get a lot of the blue and purple. It's going to be pretty cool once I do the next step, which is polishing all the high spots on the round. And that kind of brings out the details a lot more. But it's an experiment and it's a lot of fun. So that's our first one. I ended up diluting the solution just a little bit and we're gonna try it again. Let's see. See what kind of instant toning it will do. It's kind of fun just to watch the chemical react with the silver and it starts to tarnish the silver so you're actually damaging the surface of the round so I don't suggest doing this with any good coins or anything like that but these generic rounds it's no big deal you're not really losing much silver and it's a lot of fun it's a fun experiment and uh, let's hope to get some cool colors on this one stay tuned so it's really interesting how each one reacts differently. Look, this one is much more blue. And the rim of the coin has like a really brass color, which is interesting. This one's got some gold and some blue. It's almost like an ombre effect. Really, really cool. I really like the way this one came out. So like I said before, the next step is to polish the high spots. So I'm going to grab my polisher and show you exactly how I do that. Stay tuned. All right, so there's a few different ways to polish the silver. Uh, some people like to use this Goddard's silver polish, and you can use that with like a Dremel tool. Obviously not this type of bit, but you can use a Dremel or something with the silver polish. But what I find works the easiest is one of these silver polishing cloths. Uh, I've had this thing forever. I don't suggest polishing any of your silver coins with silver polish. But in this experiment, when we're toning some silver bullion, some generic rounds, I like to get a consistent 
uh, polish on all the high points of the round. So what I do is just lay it down and just rub it back and forth on this polish cloth and it'll get a nice even and consistent polish on all the high spots. So I can't really do that and film at the same time so I'm going to do it real quick and I'll show you what the results look like. Alright so here is the finished product. I think they came out pretty cool. They're not exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a little bit more color, some more pronounced toning. But this one is a little interesting. It's got some different colors. Looks kind of cool. I did polish all the high spots. You see the rim of the coin, the lettering, the skull. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. In person, it looks pretty cool. Uh, this side of the round actually did pretty well. We got some cool colors. A lot of that gold toning. I didn't keep this one in very long, so that might have been the reason. But this one, I think, came out really cool, especially this side. Lots of blue and a little uh, ombre effect with the gold fading into the blue. And that looks pretty awesome. And I did polish all the high spots on this one as well. And the uh, this side of the coin looks actually pretty cool. You know, it almost looks like an ocean, uh, kind of like a watery color. So that is really cool. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera. The exact, uh, you know, the way it looks in person is really, really cool. But I think they came out pretty cool. I had fun doing it. It's always fun toning some silver rounds. I might, you know, mess with them a little bit more, or I might just leave them as is. But I think it was a fun experiment. You know, I was hoping to get a little bit more color, a little bit more rainbow effect. Uh, the liver of sulfur gel, it does work pretty well, but I, uh, I've i actually had better results using hard-boiled egg, believe it or not. You can put a silver piece, a silver round, in a container with some hard-boiled egg, all mushed up, and the sulfur that comes off that egg will actually give you a really nice rainbow toning. Uh, the liver of sulfur gel in a solution, it does a little bit different uh, the way it reacts with the silver rounds, but still a fun experiment. Hope you enjoyed checking out today's video, doing a little toning with some liver of sulfur on some silver rounds. So please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.